If you're looking to buy cheap FIFA coins then do head over to www.thefutshop.com where you can buy uh, cheap coins from a good, trustworthy, reliable seller. If you are interested in buying coins the link will be in the description. What's up guys, BHD here back with another episode of FIFA Monopoly, not sure what episode number it is, but we are going to go straight into it, we roll a 9 on the dice which is a light blue which is a 55 to 59 rated card, so I can go and pick up the goal, goalkeeper, the centre back, who is of course bronze in the 3-5-2 uh, formation that we're playing, 200 coins, not really an impressive uh, bronze player to be fair, he's average, nothing really special to say about him to be honest with you. Then we move on to the second roll of the dice and um, you can see just as it's about to come up that we managed to land on a number 6 which is another blue, another 55 to 59 rated card and we go and pick up the CDM or the first of the two who is also another of the um, just 200 coins for him. I didn't want to go spending too much but he had quite a nice pace for a centre defensive mid. Only 200 coins so I thought I'd give him a whirl, see what he was like and um, hopefully he was not too bad. Then we uh, have the third roll of the dice, and it is a number 10 that we roll. So we land on, what do we land on? We land on an orange, which is a 65-69 rated card, so we can go and get Ed A. And guys, it would be great at this stage if you could remember to uh, drop a like on this. What should we aim for? We'll aim for 100 likes on this, which would help an, a massive amount. And also subscribe if you haven't already. Remember that tomorrow or Sunday we'll be releasing the 5,000 subscribers. Thank you, video. Um, but anyway, we can move on to the next roll now. That we do land an 11, which means I can go over to the red zone, which is a 70 to 74 rated player. So in this case, it is the cam that we go out and buy, who is Azagiach. Yeah, whatever that says. He does have 78 pace, 78 dribbling, 69 were a shot, uh, 38 defending, 70 passing, and 52 heading. On the whole, wasn't too bad, I guess. I didn't really notice him loads because of the two beastie strikers that I do have in this squad, which you'll be able to see soon enough anyway. And we go and roll an 11 again from there, so we can go and land on a chance box, which in this case is probably the centre goalkeeper. Who is Neuer? Um, I've never properly used Neuer. He was very good. I still prefer, obviously, my Vice, um, just because I use him in every like my sweat team, my main team. But Neuer still wasn't too bad. Some quite nice stats and fairly decent player. Now we're able to move on and see if we can manage to pick up a couple of strikers. So we roll for the third time in succession a 11 on the dice as well, which means that I think we land on a chance box again. Which means I can go and buy a striker, who in this case is S. Fine, the first. You can see there I've played 28 games and 39 goals scored in total. That's just online seasons, uh, not including when I had him on my old club account and my um, just like generally playing against friends. But obviously, he's a beast, everybody knows that. Fully recommendable for just about a K, so definitely go and pick him up. Then we have to go and get ourselves out of jail and roll the dice again. We land on a 4, 5, 6, 7, which is another box, I think. So we can go for the third time, pick up a player of our choice. In this case, it is the Malapa. My, one of my favourite players on Ultimate Team, of course. He's got his 84 pace. He's got his 73 dribbling, 67 shot, nice head in a 71. Scored uh, 44 in 28 goals. On this account for me so far, you can see my record in the top right as well, which uh, kind of shows that he is absolutely beasty. Then we go and roll for the next one. I'm not sure what number we managed to land, which I'll see now. We land a f another 7, is that? Which means that I can go and land on a orange card, which is a 65 to 69, so I can go pick up this 69 rated ball. Who has got 70 defending, 73 heading, 68 passing... 63 shooting, 64 dribbling, and then 52 pace, which isn't great, but you don't really need pace, I guess, too much for a centre defensive mid. My uh, chair is squeaking there. Um, then we can roll on. I'm not sure. I think we've got one or two rolls of the dice left, and we go and snatch a double one, which is another 65 to 69 rated card. In this case, we do go and pick up this Andre Lerito, who was 300 coins for 59 pace centre back. He's got 68 defending, 74 heading in there as well. Maybe not so great other stats for only 47 dribbling, 24 shot and 40 passing. They're not really great, uh, but it still wasn't too bad, I guess. 
Now we can move on and we shall see what we managed to pick up. Now we go and land on an 8. We move on from there, which I presume is a yellow, which is a 75 to 79 rated gold card. So I can go and pick up Boatang, another of my favourite players. I definitely will be trying out the informed Boatang uh, as soon as possible, really, uh, when I should probably pick him up tonight, actually. Uh, but we do have 75 pace on him, 77 defending at 81 heading. Very, very nice player, good, good defender. Then for the final roll of the dice, we can go and land on a 9. I think that was 9. But that is a any card, bleh, a player of our choice. So in this case, we go and pick up a Lam in right wing back. He does still get his full 9 chemistry. Which works out very nicely for us in the end. Maybe isn't maybe I'm not sure if I could have picked up someone better there. I probably could have, but he still worked out in that formation formation position. Just maybe a, not exactly what I was expecting, but they don't really get too bad much involved those left mids and right mids in this formation anyway. So uh, guys, I'm gonna leave you with some goals now. I do hope you've enjoyed this so far. I hope you enjoy the goals with a bit of music on. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you drop a like on this to try and get to 100. And I shall catch you on the next video.